Hey, welcome guys to another episode of Effortless Fashion. If this is your first time joining, I'm your host Corey. To my loyal viewers, you know I always emphasize that fit is king. Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to know when something fits you well, sometimes without even trying the clothes on. Intro. One of the first things you need to know is the difference between a tucked and untucked dress shirt. Sometimes I see guys wearing shirts that should be tucked in, untucked. And I'm sure that's because of ignorance. So allow me to shed some light on that. A tucked in shirt is normally flat at the bottom part of the shirt, as in it's even all the way around. A tucked in shirt, it normally has a tail around the back and it's normally shorter at the left and the right side. So those shirts should be tucked in and never be worn untucked. Now as for the fit for a shirt, the proper fit for a shirt, one especially that you're going to have to button all the way up, is that your two fingers, mainly your index and your middle finger, should be able to go between your shirt and your neck with a little bit of room in between. If your finger isn't able to go in, the shirt is too tight. And if your finger goes in way too easily and you have a lot of room, the shirt is too big and you need to size down. The old fashioned way of knowing your neck size though is to just take your good old tape measure and measure around your neck. But not all shirts come with neck sizes. You know some shirts you see with like 17 and a half, 18 and a half. That's actually your neck size. So you should know your neck size when going shopping. Because some shirts only show that type of size. So it's good to know. Next tip is for the pants fit. More specifically, the waist. An old trick is that if you can put your place your forearm into the pants and it fits in there perfectly, then that means it will fit you. Because normally the length of your forearm is normally the size of your waist. So being able to fit your forearm into a pants normally means it would fit you perfectly. Now when it comes to jackets or blazers or sports coats, the most important fit of it, if you're gonna get something right, is the shoulders. Other parts can be adjusted, but the shoulder fit is the most important. So it's, you need to get that part right. So a way to know if the shoulders fit you perfectly is when you try the jacket on or the blazer, you do a thing they call the wall test. Now by the wall test, you simply, like I said, put the jacket on, go to a wall, your nearest wall, lean your shoulder onto it. If the jacket shoulder touches the wall before your actual shoulder, that means it's too big and you need to size down. And if your, real sh and if your actual shoulder touches the wall before the jacket shoulder, that means it's too small and you need to size up. What you're looking for is for your shoulder and the jacket shoulder to touch the wall at the same time. Next up we have the t-shirt fit. Well, everybody wears t-shirts. Well, almost everybody wears t-shirts. So it's good to know what to look for for the perfect fit for a t-shirt. Now in terms of the length of the t-shirt, if you want to find out if the length is sufficient, when you try it on, you raise both arms up in the air all the way up. Now if after raising both hands your belly is exposed, then the t-shirt is too short and you need to size up. Ideally what you're looking for is for when you raise both arms up is for the t-shirt to still cover your midsection with about an inch to an inch and a half of length to spare because everybody knows after you wash a t-shirt it tends to shrink so you want to compensate for that with the extra length because if you do less than that you're going to end up with a belly skin basically gentlemen and we don't want that. Let's leave that for the ladies. Last tip is for pants in particular jeans. Now there's something they call a squat test. Now this is basically to tell if your jeans are too tight for you. To do the squat test, you try the jeans on and you basically squat all the way down. Now, if you're having problems squatting all the way down, then the jeans is definitely too tight for you and you should size up. If you're able to squat properly and comfortably, then the jeans is right for you. Just be careful in squatting that you don't end up ripping the jeans in the rear section. So squat with caution well that's it for today you know the drill leave a like and comment below if you have any questions also if you haven't subscribed as yet hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can get notified whenever i drop a new video and if you haven't already follow me on instagram at effortless underscore fashion and of course the fashion is spelled with two ends so till next time guys i'm out stay stylish peace